Hello, everybody. Welcome to live with Pam and Aaliyah from Cozy Crochet. Hello. Uh, I can see some people are already here. Good morning, the naked snail. I always love seeing people's user <laughs> user and business names. <laughs> it is good morning. Ola Joe is here. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Haley. Hi, everybody. Um, and hello. Hi to Aaliyah. It is so wonderful to have you here today. I am glad to be here. Thank you. Um, I was, I've already, we've already talked a little bit before this, but just so everyone knows, um, in case you weren't aware, you had done the cutest, sweetest, <laughs> most hilarious video, um, talking about Ferls' wood products and how we plant a tree for every wood product sold. Earth Day is this Monday. Yes. And so we wanted to, you know, our Earth Day event starts today, which we'll get into in a moment. But I wanted, um, we wanted to reach out and see if you would join us and kind of talk a little bit about what um, moved you to make that video. I want to make sure we're linking to your YouTube so people can go and check it out um, and, and just talk a little bit more about it. So if you haven't seen this video, please go do it after you watch our live. Don't yes. yet. <laughs> Wait until later, um, but I'm going to drop the link to your YouTube, oh, your YouTube channel right in the comments here. Come on. <laughs> and now, oh, here we go. Good morning, everyone. Here we are. Look, everyone's here. Victoria from Chile, Michigan. A couple of Victorias are here. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Vicki. So many people are joining us. This is wonderful. Hello. Hello. It is cold and rainy here too. I'm in uh, Northern Ontario. It's Northern Ontario. It's kind of like central Ontario, mm -hmm. um, Canada, and it is freezing, chilly raining this morning. Where, where are you located? I'm located in Virginia. Ah, so you're not, yes. are you getting this rainy weather? No. Too, or is it, it looks like it's going to rain, but um, I think it might hold out on us today. So I like the rain. I like the rain and the fog. Mm -hmm. And I like to cozy up with a cute little sweater and crochet while everybody sleep. And then, of course, go about my day once everybody wakes up. Just like the name of your business, Cozy Crochet. Yes, I love being cozy and comfortable and just at peace with myself and my project. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite thing. How about, I think this is a really great opportunity to um, let you introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in crochet, where the name Cozy Crochet Co. came from, um, and what you're all about. Yeah, so my name is Alea. Um, I started crocheting back in 2020. Um, I started really basic. I think everybody has the same story where you just decide one day, oh, I'm going to start a new hobby and go to the store and get the cheapest hook, get the cheapest yarn and just make something. Mm -hmm. And so um, when I started, I made the this baby blanket that was way too heavy for any baby <laughs> to have on top of them. So it was more like a baby mat. Um, the, person <laughs> made, <laughs> the person who I made it for still use it to this day. So I'm very grateful for that, but they, they don't have to use it. Um, and then as I was learning more about crochet, I decided that why not make a YouTube channel and teach other people what I know. So I got into learning different stitches and started doing um, product reviews. And I decided that I really, really love yarn. And so I started exploring the world of hand dyed yarns and different yarn fibers. And um, I'm just so happy to be able to share that with my community and my friends. Um, as far as the whole Cozy Crochet Co, I just love the feeling of being able to unwind at the end of the day with something that brings me joy. And so I create an environment that's very warm and welcoming um, to enjoy a craft that I know I'll be doing for the rest of my life. So <laughs> I love that. So what kind of um, tutorials do you, do you mainly focus on on your YouTube channel? So it's um, right now I'm really into Tunisian crochet, like absolutely obsessed with it. So right now I'm focusing on Tunisian crochet, um, but I'm going to start doing like 
home products. So my next project is going to be like tea towel holders. So, you know, like the, you know, when you put like a towel over your, uh, like on your oven handle, well, I'm creating a design for a tea towel holder so you can put your towel through it and have it be nice and decorative. Um, also, we're going to be working on some dishcloths as well. So cute little things that you can put around your home. A I like the little sprinkle of crochet everywhere in your house. I feel like everybody needs at least one item that they can say, oh, I made that. And people will be like, wow, you made this? So. I love it. Do you have um, a favorite item in your home that you've crocheted that every time you look at it, you just, like, do you have a favorite one? I do. I have, I don't have it with me, but it's this uh, Tunisian crochet shawl that I made. When I was first learning how to Tunisian crochet, I used a lot of scrap yarn. And so half of it is um, like a beautiful array of colors. And then the other half is a solid teal color. And oh. I use it, my my son uses it as a blanket. Sometimes my <laughs> husband will grow up, everybody loves it. And um, I need to make another one. <laughs> Is that the the pattern that is on your website? Yes, I think I called it the cozy camper shawl. I um, am going to grab that right now because I already see we have people asking for a link to the website. Yes. All right. Um, let me find it. Here we go. Actually, can you just give me? <laughs> I just want to make sure I spell it correctly. Yeah, it's uh the website. Yes, please. Um, cozy crochet that I think I changed it though. Cause let me, I'm gonna put it in the, okay. You got this. Yeah. It is so pretty. I really love it. And I should have saved the link to it. And I don't have, I was caught off guard. <laughs> there we go. I have a, oh, here. good Sorry. morning, everyone. We have so many other people joining us. Hi, Karen. Hello. Hi, Karen. So happy to have you guys here. Um, I think, so one of the first things I had, well, that I had attempted to make, kind of like your baby blanket story, where you, you know, you, you, <laughs> You're, you're so excited to go and you make something and then you're like, huh, <laughs> I guess it didn't turn out exactly the way I had, you know, anticipated. And mm -hmm. when I started, I think I did what a lot of people do. And I started with a dishcloth. Yeah. It's kind of like a very tiny blanket, if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember, <laughs> I remember I couldn't figure out why as I, as I was going, um, my square dishcloth was turning into a triangle because I kept oh. the first... I don't remember if it was the first stitch or the last stitch, but there was something where I kept decreasing all the way without recognizing. And it, mm -hmm. it just, yeah, didn't really turn out. There we go. I will share this one as well. Oh, there we go. Cozycrochetco.wordpress.com. Yes. So something we want to talk about that is pretty darn exciting um, is Earth Day is this coming Monday, April 22nd. And for those of you who have been um, part of the Frills family for a while, you may remember that two years ago, we launched an initiative and on Earth Day 2022, we planted a tree for every wood hook sold. And that was for, I believe, might've been one day or one weekend, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really exciting and it meant a lot to us because we know our product, we have a lot of products made from wood. And so to be able to give back, reduce some of our carbon footprint um, and just try to make the world a better place, we felt really good about that. Um, and then we decided last year, so Earth Day 2023, we, um, decided to plant a tree for every wood product sold for an entire year. Mm -hmm. And so within this first year of planting trees with One Tree Planted, we have planted with all of your help over 18,000 trees around the world. Yay! So, <laughs> it, 
it feels really good. And I know that um, it's a drop in the bucket um, when it comes to things that we are hoping to do in the future, um, but we're really happy with that. And then we are wanting to announce today that we have decided to continue this initiative in perpetuity. So we are not going to drop Trees, 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 hooks, hooks. <laughs> more trees, more hooks. So yes. I'm really excited about that. And then we've done a few other things to help make um, make this a little bit more fun for all of you guys. And so I know, I know you have one of the products yes. that we launched not too long ago. And that is our brand new yarn bowls. We have two for you here. This one is Kismet. And then you're holding up our Destiny Yarn Bowl. So these are made with certified sustainable, um, I'm trying to remember, it's Steam Beach and um, Beachwood. Gorgeous. <laughs> I've been like, <laughs> I've been going too long, uh, but we have these new yarn bowls. This one here is really cute because it has these little like hand carved like dots along the top and bottom. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that little detail. Like Isn't that I pretty? love the texture. It's just visually appealing. I think so I love too. It. And then yours is kind of the the sister to this bowl yeah. and it's this gorgeous, smooth, um oh, more contemporary looking yarn bowl made of the same woods just in the opposite pattern. And then on but the bottom it has furls. Oh, oh mine mine was the sample. So oh. <laughs> Mine so, is the yeah. official one. Here's the official one, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they say pearls in the bottom. They come in our beautiful yarn bowl boxes, which oh, I don't have here. I have mine. There you go. Gorgeous. So Gorgeous. pretty. I will be keeping this box. I am one of those people who keep the boxes. <laughs> I will be keeping this box. I love that. Another yarn bowl. Yes, Karen. Another yarn bowl. Two new yarn bowls. Two new yarn bowls. There's two of them. Gorgeous. So what a better way. And every time you purchase one of these yarn bowls, we're going to plant a tree. A whole tree. A whole tree. Well, we're not. <laughs> what tree planted will. But yeah. yes, definitely, definitely. If for some reason you're not in the market for a yarn bowl, if we did not tempt you with how gorgeous these ones are. <laughs> and we have another update, which is a small restock of our Cruella. Yes. carousel and peppermint i can't find my peppermint hook otherwise i would have had it it is somewhere <laughs> in my closet um these are back in limited quantities very very little so i love the carousel hooks they are just are they pretty gorgeous and it's so smooth because you would think because there's two different woods they would be like some type of contrast absolutely yep. not when no. you're holding it is one piece of solid wood and they're light and just yeah absolutely gorgeous nice high quality you can't go wrong with these hooks i mean you heard it here yeah i mean <laughs> i was so excited i was creeping on the website this morning because i just wanted to see yes. and i literally woke up the whole house because i was really <laughs> i was so excited so after i get off of here i'm gonna have to go get some before they sell out because i was one of the slow people who got like the last bit of the last time they restocked and so this is the only one i have so i'll have to get this and those cute little stands to display them on if y'all haven't seen the stands oh my goodness they are so when you have all your hooks just display because i like to display mine they look so pretty. Where, where's my stand? Here it is. We're talking the, yeah, the yeah. circular stands. So, ah, ah, it's like a little crown or crown of <laughs> crown of hooks. It's like, it's like a, it reminds me of like peacock feathers. Yes, like a display. Like, look at me. So gorgeous. So, so the, gorgeous. We do have um, our mango hook trays. We still have these in stock as well. Again, we yeah. plant a tree every time one of these is purchased yes so how many trees are you going to help us plant today hundreds thousands <laughs> right? here we go they are art so displaying is just fitting i agree thank yes. you <laughs> uh we are um going to be not to like talk too far ahead but you know we are planning on bringing 
new wood variants, you know, a lot of new wood products throughout the year as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really excited. Yeah. And um, oh, st speaking of sustainability, this isn't about wood, but it does have to do with our resin hooks. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with seconds. Yes. So right now we have, we still have mystery seconds left. And these are hooks that did not pass our quality control um, inspections for one reason or another. This one, obviously, it has a straight line going through it. Yeah. <laughs> this one is missing the base color, so it's clear. Oh, I like that one. So pretty, right? Um, <laughs> some of them have, you know, where it was double stamped. Some of them mm -hmm. have, there's just, it. they're, they're just not what someone would expect if they order, you know, the Aquarius hook. And yeah. so instead of tossing them in a landfill because resin cannot be recycled, um, mm -hmm. we offer them for half price. Yeah. Resin. It's half yeah. price. And half price. you pick your size. You just don't know what the hook is going to look like. So it is a little at your own risk to be But fair. it's a good risk. It's a win-win. It it's a win-win situation. Look at that Virgo. Okay. Gorgeous. What should have been a Virgo? Mm -hmm. What should have been a Taurus? Oh, I like um, that one. That one's beautiful. That, that is why I kept it. I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not giving this. <laughs> I am not giving this one back. Yes. Uh, so this was. These are just some of the different ways that we are trying. We're very aware of you know the fact that in e-commerce there is a very large carbon footprint, yes. and we wanted to. Think of ways to do what we can to help minimize that or to reverse some of it. So um, if you're interested, we have, <laughs> I like this. The mystery seconds have drained my wallet multiple times. Yes. I guess that is the risk. There, There's the risk. The risk. Yes, you get addicted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes. So the mystery is you just don't know what your hook is going to look like or what variant it looks like. So mm -hmm. Um, just keep that in mind, but here we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. She's definitely going to be looking at the website today. Yes. All right. Um, okay. I have one more thing to announce because if that all wasn't good enough, yes. we do have a sale as well. You so <laughs> <laughs> it is on wood products. So if you put $100 worth of wood products in your cart, you will get 20% off with the code wood 20. Mm. So, yeah. you, and we're going to plant a bunch of trees. So this is our wood sale today for, well, actually it's for the whole month. It's for the rest of the month. So if you put a hundred dollars worth of wood products in your cart and that's USD, uh, you are going to get 20% off all wood products with code wood 20. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Exciting. And that's not just the crochet hooks, but we, I feel like we didn't talk about this, but we didn't talk about the lucid fork. The lucid fork. Right? I feel like a lot of people are really scared because they don't know how to do. Oh, did my something happen? Oh, we lost her. She'll be back. Let's talk about the lucid fork. Oh, I think she's coming back. I see a yarn ball. We'll just wait. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right. Happy early Earth Day. So you're right. That is like, um, okay, there we go. Hi, welcome <laughs> back. Welcome back to the show. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people are scared of the lucid fork, but once you get it, you get addicted. I have a project going. It's top secret, super secret, okay. but <laughs> um, you can make eye cords with this and you can use eye cords for so many different things. If you have scrap yarn, get a whole bunch of eye cords together, make it into a basket. You can that use is a great cord. idea. Yeah, I've seen that a lot going on on Instagram, and that has definitely inspired me. Um, you can use eye cords for drawstrings on hoodies, on purses. So it's very versatile. And like I said, don't be scared because I am doing a tutorial on it pretty soon. So 
just wanted to put that out there. I feel like I'm not allowed to keep talking about the loose of work. I love the idea. To, um, we, I mean, talk about sustainable practices too. If you're using yarn that is just sitting around, you don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. How awesome is that to be able to, you know, use it to make something functional, to hold yeah. the rest of your scrap yarn, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> So we are currently sold out of Lucid Forks. They oh, sold no. so fast. I was, I even, I was even surprised. Um, but we are ordering more. So just be yes. patient. Just be but, patient. Wow. I mean, I was, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. Blown away. So we have a lot of people who are loving the Lucid Fork. Sarah yes. used it for her Desert Dew Drops wall hanging, which was a kit that included the Lucid Fork, um, oh, which was designed wow. by our very own Diane Hunt. Um, so yeah, that's great. So they'll be coming back. So don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, scrap projects are the best. Have you, I love scrap projects. Mm -hmm. I love them. What is your, either what is your favorite one that you've ever done or what is a scrap project that like you're really wanting to do that you haven't started yet? That is a great question. Um, I've started and stopped so many scrap projects because I keep coming up with new ideas. Uh -huh. <laughs> so at first I was just going to do like a scrap blanket, but then, like I said, I started um, doing a scrap I-cord, thinking about doing an, a scrap I-cord basket. Um, I've seen yeah. a lot of people use scrap yarn and like sweaters and cardigans um but for me my scrap yarn is like all over the place so i don't know if the color scheme <laughs> will work out um but i am i'm really itching to do like a really intricate scrap of blanket i love that mm -hmm. i've started i think a couple i did i started a corner to corner scrap gam mm. and that was i was gonna do it for my son's room I got like maybe a third of the way through and then got distracted, went on <laughs> to something else. Um, right now, just because I use so much wander, um, especially for like a lot of the photography, mm -hmm. um, you know, just showing a lot of swatches. Um, so I started collecting squares that I make for oh. a lot of photos and maybe one day I'll get around to sewing them together. Maybe. Yeah. But I would love to know if anyone else has any really great ideas for some scrap projects. I've seen some really fun, like, sweaters, mm -hmm. like, cardigans made out of scrap yarn. I would love to know if anyone else has any ideas. Mini socks. Mini socks and cozy memory blankets with sock yarn. Oh, those sock yarn minis. Those are really cute, too. Yes. Um, Haley has a huge glass jar on her shelf full of scrap yarn. Oh, nice. Scrap lots of great ideas. Yeah, scrap beanies are really nice. I've seen some really nice ones. Oh, that's wonderful. Knitting little socks to make a garland for her studio. A that's garland amazing. is such a great idea. I like that. And so now my like my mind's just going like, what else can I do? What else can I do? Little coasters. Ooh, coasters. Right? Maybe. That's nice. I mean, really, like anything. You could just make anything. a lot of pop-ons to put on pop things or mm -hmm, scrap bags. Possibilities are endless. How big is the Kismet Yarn Bowl? The Kismet and Destiny Yarn Bowls are the exact same size as our Pine Minimalist Yarn Bowl. So they are roughly, they're all hand, like carved by hand. Mm -hmm. So there's no, so there could be slight variations, but they're approximately six inches wide at the bottom six inches high, six by six by six. Yeah, so approximately one skein of yarn can fit in here comfortably. Absolutely. I have some Malabrego in here. It just looks so pretty. So pretty, <laughs> so pretty. I do believe we have some pine minimalist bowls left as well. So here's the pine bowl, so you can see it's yes all about the same size, which is the same size as oh my gosh, so many yarn bowls now. Our medium Dharma bowl. Ooh. That's I'm gonna drop it if I do this. Hold on. <laughs> and then we have our large Dharma bowl and our small small there's something in here. <laughs> Teak five hook stand there. 
So we have our small bowl, our meat, our large bowl, and then Kismet and Destiny are the same as our medium yarn bowl. So depending on the size of your project, yeah, that's kind of that's what they're looking like. I'm gonna. Drop I love the large one. That large one definitely looks like you could have like three balls of yarn going on at the same time. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Color work. And these ones, the Dharma bowls, are made from solid pieces of teak. So oh they're, wow. They're just like one big tree trunk. Gorgeous. <laughs> Essentially. So pretty. All hand carved. All of them. So yeah. Kismet and Destiny. I would definitely. Everything, every time we release something, I'm like, this is my new favorite. That is my new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and yes, gorgeous. We plant a tree for every single one purchased. So that that's probably my favorite part. All right. What time is it? We've been half an hour in. I want to make sure we don't miss our giveaways today because, friends, we are going to be giving away one Destiny Bowl and one Kismet Bowl. Yes. We're going to have two winners. Two winners. So make sure you're commenting so that you are entered to win. There we go. All right. Um, I got distracted by all the yarn bowls and I forgot what I was going to talk about. <laughs> talk about next. I got distracted as well. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So we've got yarn bowls. We've got um, needle cases. We've yes. got lots of fun stuff. Peppermint Cruella carousel at least they were there when i last checked i don't know what you guys did while we were live they might exactly they might be gone. <laughs> i don't know and we still have our mystery seconds it is so hard to comment while crocheting i get it lisa i apologize <laughs> i am so sorry <laughs> you need an extra hand you need an extra hand yeah voice to text can you do that <laughs> <laughs> is the pine bowl finished varnished or naked well sarah um it is it is whitewashed, like it has like a like that watery white paint mm -hmm. kind of finish. I don't. That's not a technical term. No. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> but it does have like a white wash. To I think that is um, the inside is not. It is the raw wood, but they are. Um, they do have like a a food grade wax. Mm to seal it and protect it all of our wood products do so even our hooks have that there's no stains there's no varnishes there's no chemicals used on any of our except for that paint um on any of our wood products it is all um biodegradable waxes so just so nice these you know, are technically uh, compostable depending on your local compost program. Here they are. Um, our aluminum hooks are hundred percent recyclable, which is really awesome. good. So yeah. Uh, Sarah said, cool. I was thinking it'd be neat to stain and varnish it for making it colorful. There you go. I feel like for this one, you could, there's no, that I can tell, like there's no coating on it or anything. So you should be able to with these ones. We were actually talking about that at a, at a meeting once about doing something like that. Ooh. We were thinking about doing maybe like a, like having them hand, like something hand painted on it from someone maybe on the team and then mm -hmm. um, using them as a fundraiser or something we thought would be fun. Um, I like unicorn spit. Sarah, that's interesting. I'm not sure <laughs> I jumped in on that conversation. <laughs> um, no, I haven't heard of it. I've never heard of that either. Sounds interesting. There we go. Sparkly and... Colorful. Yeah. I would love for furls to come out with buttons. I was just thinking about that because mm -hmm. I have to uh, put on buttons on a uh, cardigan. I was like, you know, I would really love some ebony buttons. <laughs> ebony buttons. Yes. That's really pretty. Yes. How big would you want the buttons? Mm, maybe like an inch, an inch and a half. Right? And just like yeah. a plain button or what are you thinking? Oh, you know, like a carousel button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, go, go ahead and hire me. Go ahead and hire me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I think buttons would be so nice. Oh, 
I dream of putting oh, yeah. pearls buttons. <laughs> buttons. Buttons. So unicorn spit is a water soluble varnish. Oh, okay. The more you know, Karen says new. Purple wood's fantastic. Oh, I yes. purple wood. I Karen, purple wood hook. My purple wood is up on my I can't reach it from here. So, so, so pretty. Yes. Um we actually Oh, right. You want some, you guys like when I spill secrets, let me tell you. We may be getting a purple wood accessory Ooh. next month, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Y'all better keep an eye out. <laughs> I would keep an eye out. Um, we have someone asking for Odyssey hooks. Our Odyssey manufacturer retired. So we... We don't have them. Um, Karen said, fantastic idea. Hooray for buttons. <laughs> yes. I love that. I love, love, love that. Um, I see DeVeter is talking, remembering the, the dragon buttons we had sold years ago. Those were actually made by the same manufacturer. Um, they were pewter <sighs> buttons. Yeah, just like, yeah, they look like dragon scales. Oh, I'm cool. so mad I missed out on that. Yeah. Haley's asking, how's the progress on the new leather items, Pam? Ooh. Nobody forgets when I say something. <laughs> <laughs> they don't forget. The leather is going very well. Thank you, actually. Um, we, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going well. I don't, I don't really have anything <laughs> else to say about that. Um, just because it does take a while to manufacture but we're going to have um one or two new leather products coming sometime hopefully by the summer hopefully okay. sooner uh, it it depends on how long it takes to manufacture them but uh oh Haley is Frost planning on making leather single hook holders ooh yes that is one of them that is one of the ooh. things they're not going to be exactly like the um, the old ones with the like that flap that went in. Yeah, that's a really bad description. Um, <laughs> they're they're going to be an updated <laughs> an updated one. Okay. Um, yes, and there's going to be a new case. There's going to be a new case. Metal hooks. We've, well, we have our streamlined metals. We're going yes. to be. Those are my favorite. There's going to be some new stuff in that category this year, um, and oh. Thank you, Marsha. Uh, and then, patience, patience, Kathy. <laughs> oh. Uh, so yes, and then the the new hook that the one that is brand new that we've never had at Frills before. Um, progress is being made, so we're very very excited about that. Very excited. Oh, yeah. you know what else? I missed out on the Tunisian crochet hooks, the wooden yes. Tunisian crochet hooks. Yes. yes. Oh, my goodness. I am beating myself up every single day for not grabbing. Don't them. worry. We're, that is, that's another. <laughs> Haley. <laughs> this is why I have to watch what I say. Yes, uh, I look. I am the same way. Yeah. When they said to not talk about these bolts, I said, "Are you serious?" <laughs> oh my oh my. I think progress is fun too, but I understand yeah. that if, if um, I I do recognize that I'm getting the progress updates. Mm -hmm. People aren't unless I'm here and you're asking. So I yeah. do get like I totally understand, and I know it feels like forever. Um, uh. But definitely developing a brand new product that is going to be different than something than anything we've done before. It it's it takes. Well, I mean, I wish it would be faster, but it can't be. So yeah, it takes time to it make something time. amazing. It takes time. So okay. all right. So. <laughs> see here we go yeah we have a lot of fun and everyone always just i know i know everyone wants the beans but th that that's it for today that's Let's it. <laughs> um 
Um, and really, like, we have a lot of exciting things to talk about. So we'll just say, how about we give something away? We'll distract everyone for a minute. Yes. Let's give away. Um, so we have a Kismet Bowl and a Destiny Bowl we are going to give away today. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All the comments are making me so happy. All yes. right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through all of the comments. You are going to tell me when to stop. And whatever okay. my cursor lands on, I click it and it pops up the name of that person. And someone's going to win a Destiny Yarn Bowl. We're going to start with Destiny. All okay. right. All right. All righty. Who's going to be a tool you. with me? Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to load some of the earlier comments. These bowls are so pretty. They're so, They're pretty. so pretty. I know like it's so hard to describe because you like yeah. it doesn't I mean I don't can you see the wood grain? Yes, it's just so perfect and so pretty and I love like we love the regular one with the swirl but this yeah. one is just so special especially yeah. if you're somebody who has that minimalist um what is the yeah. word I'm aesthetic yeah minimalist yeah. aesthetic this is absolutely perfect especially nowadays um with the clean girl aesthetic and yes. the, <laughs> the organic you know this is just a perfect addition to i agree especially if you display your stuff. This is perfect. Love it. All right. I'm, I'm scrolling. I loaded up all the old comments. Okay. So you can go ahead and at any time, just say stop. Okay. We got to do a drum roll. Stop. Oh, Kim. Kim I don't know what she can't stand. But hopefully it's not this yarn bowl because yes. we just won a destiny yarn bowl. Congratulations. So please, congratulations, Kim. Please email support at furlscrochet.com, subject line winner. And we are going to get you your yarn bowl. Yay. This down. There we go. All right. So keep commenting. And I think this was way back when we were talking about the weather, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very early. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Kim. Uh, keep commenting, though, because we still have to give away a Kismet Yarn Bowl, too. Yeah. All right. There we go. Now, again, distract. I am very distracted today. I don't know <laughs> what it is about today. I think it's just because there's so much going on. It is pearls that I had to, you know, stop what I was doing. And then I lost a week, like in my head, I was thinking that we were next week and that I was having to leave. Cause we, uh, Lorraine and I are going to Chicago to attend the H and H mm -hmm. America's conference for the first time. And I am so stuck on making sure I have everything ready for that trip. I lost an entire week. And then it was just this morning where I'm like, this is my last weekend before I have to go. And mm -hmm. my husband said, I thought you weren't going until the 30th. <laughs> and I said, yeah, that's Tuesday. So we always Tuesday. Went a, week, a week ahead. We always went a week ahead. Yeah. So what is H and H? H and H is a, um, like an industry conference for people in the crafting industry, actually. So it's not just crochet, not just knit. There's quilting, fabrics, um, and it is for, um, there's like networking and there, there's things to do. So if you are part of the crafting industry, um, you can go check it out, H&H &H Americas. Yeah. So just me said so she's happy to see the live. I usually miss these gatherings. It is so <laughs> wonderful to have you here. Um, any big new releases for Frills' birthday? Yes, of course. Our birthday is in June. Okay. And we, have, mm -hmm, we have a, two big releases. This one's Ooh. Awesome. Please give a yarn bowl a new home at my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If there was, so I know you're waiting for Tunisian hooks. Yes. 
And you want ebony or carousel buttons. Yes. Is there anything else you could think of that you would love to see? Yes. Oh my goodness. I was just, who I was telling somebody about this, but I have, I'm obsessed with the snap um, project bags. You know, the ones that Daily yeah. Cube makes? Yeah. Um, Furls and Daily Cube, y'all need to get together and make some snap project bags. I love, love them. I so love much. That. actually, I have one right here. <laughs> so and it has, I'm working on a, I might, I might as well just bring it out. Just bring it sure. out. Is I'm this a secret that, no, we're not going to tell anybody. No, no, this isn't a secret. Um, this is a cardigan that I'm making using the Wander yarn, right? Uh -huh. So this is in the color Foundry, and this is in the color okay. Winter Mint. Oh, that's Winter Mint. Yes, it kind of looks a little oh, it looks a little blue. Yeah. These two colors absolutely obsessed. And so it is a raglan cardigan that I have started and it's like half, oh, it looks That's a little crazy. So <laughs> That's that I started and I'm super excited about this. It feels, if y'all never tried the Wonder Yarn, what are you doing, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> because it's so luxurious and soft. Mm -hmm. And the finish on it is like a metallic. And normally with metallic yarns like this, it's it feels like kind of crunchy and uncomfortable. But this one is just it's like butter. And then obviously, where's my where's my hook at? Where's my <laughs> you have to use the stream the metal streamline hooks with it. It's a must because it's just like the most luxurious smooth experience with those two yarns together, the yarn and the hook together. I can't put this down. <laughs> so I love, 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 love. So we need some snap bags. So we put all okay. of our projects. projects. I got it down. Yeah. Um, I'm a tangent there, but I get so excited about yarn and tools and and stuff like that. That's why I started my channel in the first place because I'm like, nobody's talking about this. I need to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And it's so, so I apologize. I looked really distracted. My son decided to call because oh. we, we talked about this right before, like make sure our phones are on silent. I did not <laughs> silence my watch. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> no. And so my son calling um, and I said, I'll call you back. And then he called again. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, just, you know, anyway, it was just so funny because we had literally just talked about that. People only call when we're live. Yes. So, yeah. The timing. Um, I do love those bags though. And I love the people at Q and Jimmy Bean's Wool. And, um, I know Ooh, they're going to be there. They're going to be at H&H &H America's as well. So Snap bags, yeah, love them. Um, Lisa says she'd love to see some sustainable yarns from Furls, like 100% natural fibers or recycled acrylic. We are sourcing those right now. So we have, um, we are always testing new products, trying to, you know, see, oh I, yeah, lots of comments. Um, trying to make the best decisions with the best products that we can do. Mm -hmm. So Ava said only call when you're doing something or in the bathroom. Exactly. Yep. That's <laughs> like when Amazon shows up. It's when you're in the shower. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what else do we have? So the discount code hundred dollars worth. Yes. A hundred dollars in wood products and then mm -hmm. use the code wood 20. And you will get 20% off all the wood products in your cart. Interchangeable crochet hooks. River, I think that's a great idea. Marsha says, I have three kids. I know. <laughs> so true. Yeah. It is so true. Uh, all right. We've got lots of comments about different yarns and different materials. I saw someone mention dyed leather. They would love to see some of our leather because right now we have brown, black, and gray mm -hmm. leathers. Um, oh, actually, I have my Blair clutch right here. 
gorgeous. Mine, I use, I use mine as a purse. So I have like my wallet in here. I oh. definitely need to grab one of those. These are, oh, I have a lot of my passport. <laughs> Obviously I haven't emptied it since I last went traveling. These are great. So we currently um, offer them in three colors. Dyed leather. Um, very interesting that you all are talking about that. So my question is, if let's say we were going to look into getting some other colors, mm -hmm. which colors would you want to see? Oh, I would love to see like olive, olive green. Yes. Oh my, that would be perfect for fall. I think so too. Um, and maybe like a millennial pink for spring. Mm. Somebody said purple. I was going to say purple. Yes. Yes. I got to get me one of those bags. Oh, um, the comments are coming in so fast. When I click, it's clicking on the other, like the same. Purple, purple, purple. We got some purple girlies. Yes. Purple. Mustard. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mustard. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is really, really good to know. Heel. That would be gorgeous. Somebody said Roy D. Bim, so all the colors. All of them. All yes. of them. Well, this is really, so we have a lot of teal, a lot of purple, a lot of pink. We've got mm -hmm. lots of greens. Yes. It's making me feel like I can't go wrong. Literally. I say that, and I'm going to pick the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. be real. Rainbow. Rainbow. I could do a stripe. Right. Lots of rainbow comments too. Garnet. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, I have several dyed leather samples that are actually showing up probably next week. So the timing is impeccable as always. This is good because you know what? We don't always know just because we like it, how everyone else is going to feel. Yeah. So this is really good. Uh, more texts coming in and I should not have connected my phone to my computer because the text messages pop up right over this chat. Oh, so, Ashley Parker from the loopy lamb. If you're listening, <laughs> text me later when I'm done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Can we talk about this for a moment? Yes, I did make this. So the pattern is actually by my friend, Betty McNitt. I mentioned her um, earlier. So this is her six day hexagon cardigan. And I made this last year. Um, it's out of some really pretty yarn. That's beautiful yarn. Absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a uh, premier, premier puzzle yarn in the color maze but yeah so it's in the hexagon and it's her signature stitch pattern and i absolutely love yeah. it and i have to definitely make myself another one it's beautiful the color is gorgeous on you too yes i love it I love thank that. you thank you oh wow so six day how did it take six days like what uh do you know the story behind the name Yes. Yeah, so um, she was so kind enough to share with me the story behind her six day. She has a six day line of everything. So her original story started with a baby blanket um, and she was, I think it was like a baby shower or something or somebody needed the blanket by a certain time and it was six days. So she sat down, made the blanket and she's like, oh, you can actually make this in six days. Like it's actually feasible. And so that's where the six day line. So she has six day man blanket. I did that one last year with her. Um, six day star blanket. That's a blanket that is on my list of things to do. Um, probably using the wander yarn because they have so many amazing colors. And I did the six day hexagon cardigan. She has a six day um, scarf, beanie. They are just really fun. Now, when I made this, it did take me seven days. <laughs> but it is, doable. <laughs> I know. it is doable. And the pattern is um, very clear and concise. So definitely um, hit her up for the pattern. I love yes. that. I love it. That's awesome. And so you said that the, is this, you said the star blanket is next on your list? Yes, the six day star blanket. 
It is awesome. absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm currently making a six day star blanket and my profile picture yes. is one. Holy, that's amazing. Oh, I love that. And yes, Wander, 52 colors to choose from. Yes, so many endless possibilities. Work the seven days, absolutely. How many hours per day to do it in six? Obviously, it's you know how fast you you crochet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how many hours did you spend on it per day? Do, do you? Um, I think for me it was probably two to three hours. Um, I think when I this was pre first child, so I had more yeah. time. Um, but yeah, I think like two to three hours a day. Yeah. That's doable uh, mm -hmm. for like, I think for a lot of people, you know, sitting down in the evenings, watching yeah. TV or doing whatever you do, just crocheting along. I love that. I think that's really great. Um, I also see we've been doing this for almost an hour. So it's probably oh, yeah. time to draw the name for the second winner for the Kismet Yarn Bowl. Yes. Kismet Yarn Bowl. Um, so we are going to go ahead and load up all the comments again and see who the winner is going to be. All right. Great. Are you ready? Are I you ready? am making sure they're all loaded and my cursor doesn't move too much. Okay. Go for it. Okay. You got to do the drum roll. Keep uh, commenting. Stop. River, River Belton, congratulations. congratulations. You have won the Kismet Yarn Bowl. I'm going to write it down. So please email support at furlscrochet.com, subject line winner, and we will get you your Kismet Yarn Bowl. Congratulations. So what is Kismet? Is that like a certain type of yarn or, I'm not yarn, wood or... Uh, no, it's it, so our newest yarn bowls, Dharma, Kismet, Destiny, they all kind of follow that. Um, like their feelings, or you know, like Kismet is something that was just meant to be, or like mm. Destiny, meant to be. And so, so this is just like the theme of the names of the yarn bowls. So, Lorene, um, she named the Dharma yarn bowl line. Um, I thought Kismet sounded kind of cute and, um, and yeah, Destiny just kind of fit in with it as well. And then I don't know if we're going to keep doing that with the names, but that's, that's what they're at for now. So, yes. you know, named a lot of stuff. So congratulations, River. Winner, winner. Yes. There we go. I'm trying to load up the, make sure I have the newest, <laughs> the newest comments going. All yeah. right. So everyone, Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. And to my wonderful guest, I appreciate you joining so much. Thank I you. really appreciate, like I said, that video <laughs> absolutely made our days. So if you have not yet seen the video, uh, do you remember the name of the video? To, or I'll go see if I can find it real quick. That is a great question. I think it is called... Um, link it. I know the thumbnail says like bio hook save the planet or <laughs> something like that. Yeah. I'm trying to find it to do, do, do. We have the Earth Day special. That was from eleven days ago. That was not it, was it? Yeah, uh Furl's Crochet Unboxing Earth Day Special. Okay, here we go. I'm going to link it. You need to see it. It is so so much you made my day i yes, definitely I so much fun loved it so in my backyard <laughs> is, so who filmed you doing it me or was it, i did or you just set up a tripod yes <laughs> it was so good i really yeah. have more videos like this from you because i just thought it was the greatest so yes. buy a hook save the planet there you go one tree planted for every wood products sold from furls mm -hmm. forever 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 ever <laughs> we're doing throwbacks now too yes oh it's my goodness yeah there we go all right again 
go follow Cozy Crochet Co. for all of your stitch tutorial needs, product reviews, or just to have a nice chuckle when you see these awesome videos because I just yes. like so thank you. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. Check your email from Furls to see all the information about our promotions today. Yes. All right. So hopefully we'll see.